Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Harrier, showing how to fire unguided rockets. We're carrying the Zuni and the Hydra rockets today, although the method of employment is the same for both. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Let's begin. Set Master Arm on, air to ground mode. Check that the DMT is on. This will help us to spot targets in the HUD. Select your rockets from either screen. We'll start with the Zoonies. The Rocket Pipper consists of a ranging clock with minimum and maximum range cues. Values for the range cues can be set in feet using the ODU. Press waypoint increment to select the target waypoint. Press designate to set it as a ground target. We now see the ground target as a diamond in the HUD. And when we're not facing the ground target, we get extra HUD symbology to keep us situationally aware. Let's turn the autopilot off. Caution. Caution. And we can start our run. The default setting for any rocket is to fire single shots. And that's fine with the Zuni as they're quite a heavy rocket and we're only carrying a few. We'll fire multiples of the Hydra on our second pass. We're coming out 6,000 feet to set up for a 15 to 20 degree dive. I find this gets the most accuracy. Throttling back to control my speed, check nozzles at zero degrees. I'll just bring the nose down gradually as I get closer to the target angle on my HUD. Small chevrons in the HUD are heat sources picked up by the DMT. It's a very handy way to spot ground vehicles. Dive angle's good. I'll flick the autopilot on then off to get the aircraft in trim. Wait for the pipper to unwind. Trying to keep the aiming dot on the target. Press weapon release and pull up. Pull up, pull up. Release countermeasures if you want. Altitude, altitude. Let's come around for another pass with multiple Hydras. Select the Hydra station, 61S. On the armament panel, select the quantity. This is the total number of rockets that you want to release. The multiple should set the number of pods you want to use, but that's not working as expected at the moment. We're now set to release four rockets with each press of the weapons release button. Again, lining up for a 15 to 20 degree dive angle. Throttle back, keep the target in sight. We're going for the second cluster of trucks this time. Autopilot to trim. Fire one salvo. One more. Pull up, pull up. And climb altitude, away. Altitude. Rinse and repeat until you're out of rockets or out of targets. I've been Dan and you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all of the people who've supported me on Kofi. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.